drive down the highway turns into a life or death situation for one man. His car plunged into a retention pond off the 417. We first broke the story on News 6 at noon. The driver was trapped inside. That was until a road ranger jumped into the water and got results. New up for News 6's Nadine Yanis takes us through the rescue. 27-year-old Alex Morales was on his way from work at the Sanford Airport on 417 to pick up his two-year-old son when he says he lost control of his car and plunged into a retention pond. The water coming quickly while he was inside up to his chest and he didn't think he'd make it out alive. That was until a road ranger on 417 at the right place at the right time rescued him. From traffic cameras, you can see there is no sign of the car submerged as the driver, along with the road ranger in a neon shirt not far behind, both swim to shore. The driver collapsing the moment he reaches it. The road ranger, too, collapsing seconds later. The ending, Alex Morales, trapped inside his car completely underwater, didn't think would happen. Hold on, when I'm saying the water, I see the water coming faster. I tried broken the glass, open the door. Okay. Morales used his keys, his hands, anything to try to get out. It wasn't until he saw this road ranger come to the rescue. Though he didn't speak to us on camera today, that road ranger told me he was on routine patrols on 417 near Narcusi Road when passerbys flagged him down. He saw Morales banging on the window, begging to escape. Broke a window. Help me, uh, save my life, and uh, everything. Once divers went in and pulled out his car, you could see weeds around the broken window. Firefighters snapping this picture of Morales, hugging the road ranger, thankful for getting him out. Yeah, I'm smiling because I am bored again. And speaking to that road ranger off camera today, he said he was able to cut through that glass with one of these emergency glass breakers. He recommends that any driver carry them. I got this one for only $12 today. In Orlando, I'm Nadine Yannis, getting results, News 6.